Bismillah, Bismillah. Welcome back to the course. So this course is about adapted Mavi. Mavi means multi-platform API. So this means that you can code once and uh, you can run this code uh, on Android, iOS, Windows using WinUI 3 and Tizen, MyCatalyst, almost everywhere. So create once and run everywhere, almost everywhere. So uh, in this course, uh, we uh, in this video, uh, I want to create how you can uh, create the very first application in .NET Mavi using Visual Studio 2022 Preview or VS Code .NET, uh, using .NET CLI. So first I will go with Visual Studio, uh, go to File, uh, New and click on Project. So here you can select Mavi from the list and uh, click on .NET Mavi app. Uh, the first thing I will say uh, to you is that uh, the .NET MAVI at the time of this video recording is in preview. So I'm using the preview 10 and the latest release is preview 11. Um, I'm not using preview 11 because this will have a conflict in the future uh, when Visual Studio preview 1.2.0, uh, 2022 1.0 or I think 2.0 will release so this will have a conflict with that so I'm not using preview 11 I'm using preview 10 I will click on that it Mavi app preview and click next so here uh, I will rename my app I will call this first Mavi app and let's click on create so this will create a new Mavi app out of the box so you can run this application uh, for Windows or also you can use uh, Android in later you can or you can directly deploy this application to your Android device um, or if you are on a Mac you can uh, deploy this application to iOS or Mac at least and so click on this menu uh, I go to framework and I will select Windows so most of my videos I will run this uh, directly on Windows uh, I will not go to Android emulator or uh, my device so I'm running this on Windows uh, if you are following me along you can also um, deploy this application to Windows or you can deploy this application to Android or iOS or market list so no problem uh, but uh, in my videos I will select Windows so click on Windows when I click on Windows machine so this will deploy and run this application on this machine uh, so I'm not deploying this right now uh, I will uh, go to VS Code and show you how you can create um, my application uh, using .NET CLI. So if you want to create uh, your first .NET Mavi application, I will go to .NET New and first I will uh, list all the templates that are available uh, in this machine. So I will hit enter. Uh, you can see there are a lot of uh, templates uh, for ASP.NET, Blazor, Web API, and also you can find uh, .NET Mavi at the very top. So there is .NET Mavi app, uh, this is in preview, and there is also .NET Mavi Blazor app, uh, this is another type of .NET Mavi, and this is not in the scope of my course, so I will only uh, focus on .NET Mavi app. So the short name is Mavi, you can use the Mavi short name um, in order to create a uh, new uh, application from the .NET Mavi app template. So let's see .NET new Mavi and the output uh, or the folder in the project name is first Mavi app. Hit enter. This will create uh, the first Mavi app. So go to that folder. It is. So you see that all the files are created. So I will open this in VS Code. So uh, now you will see other uh, files and folders here as well. So you can both use uh, VS Code or Visual Studio, but I will highly recommend uh, you to use Visual Studio 2022 Preview uh, because this will not be a good experience to uh, develop a mobile application or data my application on VS Code. Uh, but I'm recommending this uh, at the time of uh, recording this video, Visual Studio 2022 preview is uh, a good idea. 
but um, I don't know. Uh, next time uh, they will give full support to VS Code as well. So you can use VS Code uh, as well. But for this course, uh, I will only focus on uh, Visual Studio 2022. So in the next video, I will go through all.